right. This is a, a very critical and important video. It is. It's a big milestone. <laughs> it is. And God knows it as well. He does. He's been helping me. Yes, the real God has been helping me. You bastards out there trying to mess with me. <laughs> Every, All you guys, anybody that's trying to mess with me, confuse me. The real God is helping me. It's my secret weapon. I don't care if I cuss. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed. God knew I would figure this out eventually. God still allows the enemy to mess with me for my own benefit. And part of it's my fault for not not caring to uh, put on the full armor of God. Not caring. I admit that. Being lackadaisical. The enemy knows my full conviction in God is not there. It's almost there. But they don't. They know it's not fully there yet. 100% conviction in God. No exceptions. It's not fully there. It's getting there though. It's getting there. It's getting stronger. Especially after today. <laughs> and, so, and so since the enemy knows that I'm not fully convinced in Jesus fully. I'm getting there though. Faster than they think. <laughs> Way faster than they think. I'm pissed. I'm re-motivated. I am. <laughs> It's not a joke. This isn't a game anymore, you know. This isn't funny ha ha to me anymore. I'm really I'm really pissed again. You know, just as I was pissed that I was lied to in Mormonism and I was lied to by my family. I was lied to now I was lied to by the spiritual community. Constant lies, but God knows the truth and he knows how to get me to the truth despite all the lies. Bastards. I don't care. I'm cussing for this one. I'm cussing because I'm pissed. I really am pissed. They've been messing with me hardcore. They have been. It pisses me off. I'm like a lone soldier. You know. And God knows it. It's not like Jesus is physically on the ground. Physically around me. Defending the enemy Physically, he's not doing that. You know what I mean? It's just me solo, you know? It pisses me off. Even though he is defending me. But it's not physically obvious, you know? Like I want. I want it to be obvious that Jesus himself, the real Jesus, is defending me from all these bastards. You know what I mean? I'm serious. But he knew I'd figure this out eventually. Like I said, um... Since I've been determining that God didn't go bad, the real God didn't go bad, I've been determining that and knowing that the enemy was trying to skew my, my perception of God. The tactic over the last couple of years is try to get me to doubt Jesus in any way. <laughs> in any single way, doubt him. From what he says, that he's God. You know what I mean? He is God. And he was God before he was physical form. Jesus was God before physical form. He was. So, God's like, you know the truth already. I'm like, I know I do. I just let them get to me. <laughs> I just let the enemy get to me and confuse me. I do. Here's a good sign. If I'm confused and I'm trying to explain things, and I'm confused when I'm trying to explain things, it's wrong, <laughs> you know, so God's correct me of the obvious, you know, Jesus is God, you know, I don't know if he was this considered the son of God before he was physical form, or, or if he was just God before physical form, <laughs> like when he was, when he became physical form, that's when he became the son of God, <laughs> You know what I mean? The, the title of the Son of God. Before that, he may have just been God himself. Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. I'm glad uh, I'm glad my top soldiers are on the ball. Archangel, you're on the ball. I thank you, my friend, for sticking with me. And you, JR. <laughs> my top soldiers. sticking with me, you know, <laughs> when everyone else falls to the wayside, you know, 
and you too, Mayor Magdalene, and Blue Sky, sticking with me despite me being wrong about stuff. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know what I mean? God appreciates it as well. When I'm wrong, you guys quickly correct me <laughs> with scriptures I've never read before. Like, immediately. You know? so. They're trying to, they're trying to make me doubt my friend Jesus. They're they are. That's their that's their aim in a simple form. They're trying to get me to doubt my friend Jesus. My best friend Jesus. They're trying to get me to doubt him. In some way, they're trying to get me to doubt him. Yep. Yep, they are. Man, it's hot. I'm gonna go in the shade real quick. Warfare didn't stop <laughs> against me. <laughs> Just because I left a false religion <laughs> didn't stop, obviously. They're still trying to confuse me and take me down. They are. It's reality. <laughs> this is a fantasy land stuff. <laughs> so, anyway. But anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. All I have to do... <laughs> If I'm confused, I just have to ask the real Jesus the correct answer, and he'll give it to me. Yep. Not some spiritual guide giving me the answer. Not angels giving me the answer. Jesus himself directly giving me the answer. Even if it's through the Holy Spirit, it's him giving me the direct answer to my questions. It's my secret weapon. It is. <laughs> it's my secret weapon. Yep. So, it's war. <laughs> this is war. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. So, but that's been the latest tactic. Yeah. They're trying to get me to doubt. Jesus, something about Jesus, just anything that he's not fully God. He's not, you, you get what I mean? He's just some, uh, yeah, this is what I noticed as well. I know I'm jumping around a lot of memories to go through. I, I review my memories to see how I was messed with <laughs> since leaving the cult. I, I review my memories to see how I was messed with. You know what I mean? God knows I'll figure it out eventually <laughs> with the patterns. Um, something that a former scapegoat said, a, a strong Christian, uh, commented a while back. I remember these comments I did. He said, um, when I was exploring the new age for the truth, when I was going through that phase, the new age, after leaving a cult, I didn't know what the real truth was, which is understandable, I didn't. <laughs> So I explored the new age stuff after leaving a cult. The cult was false. What's true? I don't know. So I was exploring. <sighs> but deep down, I knew the truth. I did. You know, about Jesus being legit. And I apologized to him. You know, I guess I was just mad. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. The spiritual community's right about Jesus just being a, a, a mystic teacher. Nope. <laughs> He's just Christ consciousness in a body. No. <laughs> I'm taking a stand right now. That's false. <laughs> I'm taking a stand against the whole spiritual community right now. I don't care anymore. I'm taking a stand right now. They're wrong. <laughs> They're wrong just like the Mormons were wrong. They're wrong. The metaphysical community is wrong about Jesus. The way they perceive Jesus, they're wrong. Not one of them say Jesus is God in the flesh. Jesus is God. Not one of them has said that. Not one. They're wrong. He is. And if they were if they were reborn and saved, they would know that. Even more so. It's more obvious. That's how I know it more obviously now. It's more obvious once you get saved. That Jesus is exactly who he says he is. He's God. He's not just some mystic or you know what I mean? Some voodoo healer, you know, you know, walking around, you know. 
that's why I'm here. I swear. That's why I'm here. The enemy has deceived so many people, it's not even funny. Just to, just to get people to not see Jesus as God, as who he really is. It's clear as day. It's clear as day. They'll believe anything else except for Jesus is God. And he suffered your, for your sins. He, he died for you. Anything else but that. The enemy wants you to believe anything else but that. That truth. And I'm putting it. I'm, I'm making it. Right in front of the blue sky, I'm saying the truth. Right in front of the blue sky. No accident. The blue sky. That means it's true. Blue sky's backing me up. The literal blue sky. Not you, blue sky. The literal blue sky's backing me up right now. Yes, it is. So are the birds out there. They're backing me up as well. The birds in the blue sky. And maybe even the white horse somewhere. There's a white horse backing me up somewhere. Just kidding. But anyway. Yeah, God knew I'd figure this out. Because it's my secret weapon. Because I have the Holy Spirit now. And the Holy Spirit is just as trustworthy as Jesus is. Yep. So I can trust it over anything else. It's same trustworthy. It's part of the Godhead. So it's just as trustworthy as Jesus. The Holy Spirit cannot lie as well. Exactly. And I'm getting better. It's yeah. I'm yeah. I let the pressures of this, uh, the perception of the spiritual community get to me. You know, when I know the truth, but it's tough. It's tough to just stand alone. You know, it's a lonely road. It is to believe Jesus is exactly who He says He is. Son of God, God himself, it's a lonely road like you would not believe. So many people have been thrown off the path. Oh, Jesus is just a teacher. Jesus is just a respectable man. Oh, Jesus is just a mystic. Oh, Jesus is just some guru. Oh, Jesus, anything else except for he's a son of God. Anything else. Yep. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. God knew I'd figure this out. But that former scapegoat figured it out before I did. He was way ahead of the curve. <laughs> when he was saying the new age is a new cage, he was way ahead of me. He figured it out before I did. I wasn't sure if he was right, but he is. The new age is just as much of a cage as the cult, the Mormon cult is. It's just a new cage. It's true. It is. It could be another wheelhouse of Satan. It could be the whole metaphor. The whole metaphysical world could be Satan. Satan's wheelhouse. Not just the cult, but that as well. <laughs> I'm not joking. So I'm like, man. But I always wondered why I didn't fit into the metaphysical world. I'm not supposed to. I don't belong there. I don't. Yep. I'm, I'm, a, I'm deep down, I'm a... Deep down, I'm a believer in Jesus. Deep down, the whole time, you know, I don't believe. I don't really believe the, what they were saying in that physical, not fully. There's a reason why it didn't make sense to me. If it's confusing me, then that's not from God. And the metaphysical world confused me. It's not from God. It's confusing me. Yeah. Even the Bible makes more sense. <laughs> Than the metaphysical community, how they see Jesus. <laughs> A lot of them were like, "Oh, I." They're like, "Oh, yeah, I respect Jesus, but uh, but they won't say Jesus is God. They won't." I haven't heard one of them say that. Taking a stand. I'm taking a stand. Literally, I'm taking a stand against the enemy. The whole, the whole spiritual community. I'm taking a stand right now. I'm taking a stand. You guys can believe in Buddha all you want. It's not right. It's not correct. Buddha didn't die for you. He didn't die for you. 
being spun in circles. <laughs> does hard things, <laughs> even if I have to stand alone, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Jesus stood alone, so do I, <laughs> it doesn't matter, <laughs> anyways, I just thought it was important to make this video real fast, and clear things up, because, <laughs> Still trying to mess with me, they are. They're still trying to mess with me. Deep down, I know I know Jesus is legit. Deep down I do. They still try to mess with me. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing I wanted to say that I want to clear up. The moment where Jesus says it, ask the Father if there's another way, like he didn't know, that was at his peak of suffering. His peak of suffering. He suffered like you would not believe. In a human body. And I can tell you from my own peak of suffering, when I, when I was suffering at my peak, I wasn't thinking straight. I wasn't. So God, uh, Jesus could have been affected by that. And I think I'm right about that. It affected the God part of Jesus. You know what I mean? That he didn't know if there was another way or not. It, I think I asked, and I think I'm right about this. The, the, the amount of suffering was that intense. It was that intense that he couldn't think straight. Like a God would think straight. The human body was affecting him. I think I'm right about that. I think I am. I think I solved it right there. But yeah. Oh. It's amazing the effort against me. <laughs> it's amazing the effort against me. I envy everybody else like you would not believe. I just want to live a normal freaking life. But I can't. <laughs> People over here, they're not targeted like me. Just next to me, they're not targeted like me, and God knows it. I can't, you know what I mean? I just want to be not targeted like people next to me over here. They're not targeted like me. They're not, not even close. <laughs> just making me stronger that's it that's all they're doing they're, they're making me more sharp in my determination they are god knew it would he knew it would anyways so uh, anyways that's all i want to say get that out there because I'm tired of their shit <laughs> I'm tired of their shit their new tactics against me I'm tired of it I'm sick of it the, the war just got reignited <laughs> the warrior got reignited for real God knows I'm pissed you know It's a big day. Just like I took a stand against Mormonism, took a stand against my family of origin, I'm taking a stand against the whole spiritual community, the whole metaphysical community. I'm taking a stand. I'm finally, I'm finally taking a stand. I, I can't take it anymore. God says not to, not to be around unbelievers. He said that for a reason. If they don't believe Jesus is the Son of God, I can't be around them anymore. Their influence is, is affecting me. They're wrong. They're wrong. That's all I gotta say. They're wrong. So let the war continue. Now I'll have the whole spiritual metaphysical community against me. So be it. <laughs> so be it. Have the whole world against me. I don't care. I got some Christians that have my back. I got a, some army. You know. 
so it's getting <laughs> it's gonna get real because I have real believers of I have real believers of God backing me up now in real life by God's will I have real believers of God backing me up supporting me real true believers in God so yeah <laughs> now it's gonna get it's gonna get more insane all right <laughs> it is generals coming out. The mean pissed off generals coming out. I'm pissed. And people can see it. Because I've got I'm tired of getting messed with. I'm tired. They're just, they're just trying to they're just trying to get me to doubt Jesus in some way. Just any little way they're trying to get me to doubt Jesus. In any way. Yep. That's what they're doing. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Because he's watching over me. He's backing me up. He's, he's, he knows what's going on. He's, he knows what's going on. He's correcting it. <laughs> he's correcting it. Fast. Yes, he is. That's all I want to say for this video. I thought it was important for me to make this video. Because, <laughs> uh, I owe Jesus an apology again. <laughs> I owe him an apology. I doubted him for a second. But all they did was remotivate me, you know. That's all they did. Yeah. All they have is spiritual guides and angels, you know, whatever they have. I have the real Jesus. Yeah. No messing around. <laughs> no messing around. <laughs> All the cult has is a false perception of Jesus. That's all they have. <laughs> so, you were right, Robert. The real Jesus is showing me the correct way, the correct truth, despite all the lies <laughs> around me, <laughs> despite all the lies, no matter how convincing those lies are, <laughs> despite all the lies. <laughs> In a nutshell, they're just trying to make me doubt who Jesus is what he says that's all it is it's just have me doubt that that's it but I know Jesus suffered my life he knows it I know it that's my secret <laughs> I know he's the only one that suffered my life it's, only, it's the only way I'm alive that's the secret that's my secret weapon that's how I know they're all lying about Jesus I know he suffered like he said he did <laughs> he completed the mission he did Jesus completed his mission he did it is finished completed it. It's legit. No messing around. <laughs> that lad's <lab's> pissed. <laughs> He's pissed. Man. This is when I get pissed. When I realize I got messed with. I, yet again, I got messed with. Yet again. You know? <laughs> but I know the truth. I do. I know the truth. But I allow I allow other things to mess with me. I allow it. And I, I need to get stronger. I need to get stronger. That's all there is to it. I need to get stronger. Stronger mentally, stronger spiritually. I gotta get stronger. I do somehow. That's what God was telling me. I gotta get stronger somehow. In a lot of ways, I gotta get stronger. So, and this has motivated me to get even stronger. It's motivated me. It has to push forward even, even stronger. <laughs> no joke. Even if I don't know how things will work out, <laughs> Jesus will. He'll make it. He'll make things work out. <laughs> he'll make things work out. And I believe it. I mean, I believe it. So. Power of belief. <laughs> I believe that Jesus will, will make things happen. <laughs> He'll make it things happen. He will. Yes. For this newly christened Christian. <laughs> Very newly christened Christian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. They did say the onslaught. After you get saved, there's an onslaught. This is part of the onslaught. In my opinion, they're trying to convince you Jesus is not legit in some way. After you get saved, they're trying to, they're still trying to mess with you after you get saved. They are. The enemy is. It's legit. They're still trying to mess with you. The war never ends. From age 12 
to, to my age now, the war has not ended. I'm not on the, well, I'm kind of on the beach a little bit right now. I'm not victorious on the beach with the real Jesus yet. It's not over yet. Right? It's not over. Until me and Jesus are walking on the beach victorious after the whole world burns, it's not over. All right? Not over. That's what I say. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. That's what I want to say. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. That know that know the Bible better than I do. I appreciate God appreciates you as well. Correcting me. Yeah. You know I mean? So that's all I was saying.